All praises to the Most High, all praises to our King on today. And we thank the Most High for another opportunity to go forward on these beautiful internet airways, if you want to call it that. I'm just thankful tonight that we're able to continue to talk about what the Most High is telling us to share. And we're, I'm thankful that this truth i can talk about it all day long i can just come and do videos all day all day all day and night but you know i try to give you a break i try to get a download and try to give the most high um um i guess the um the respect to not just give us and give israel anything we want to be able to share the truth and share the gospel of, of truth with our people the truth when i say the truth i'm talking about the truth that's been that, that's been distorted we have been given a uh a message that um we've been given a message that that has been uh commentaries that's been really just been crazy but you know uh and um the commentaries that's been in error but you know and uh we've talked about this before how when the gentiles got um, a hold of the scriptures they kept the israelites from receiving the um the truth of the most high of uh of the word of the most high and i tell you what like i, I did a video earlier in reading isaiah 14 and 1 if i read isaiah 14 and 1 if i began to read uh joel chapter 3 if i read uh obadiah 1 and, be and began to see that the other nations of people are going to be uh judged for um um the sins that they've committed against the most high's chosen people and they're going to go into captivity just as we did now they're going to go and cap go into captivity i guess if i was a heathen if i was the uh gentiles i guess i would take some scriptures out too and i wouldn't be too happy about that but it is what it is and uh and, uh, and a lot of people don't want to receive that and so in all this inerrant all this information that we've got what it has done it has got us calling on another deity and not just one but a multitude of deities where the most high said don't call on no other deities don't do it and our ancestors did it over and over again they were disobedient they were calling on other gods not only that they were uh worshiping idols and so forth and we're doing the same thing today if you whether whether it's um uh the fraternities or sororities i know some of you probably in it but i tell you what we are in a time right now that the most high we always say all the time that the most high is not playing but i'm serious we are in a time right now where uh where judgment is just about here the judgment wasn't coming 10 20 15 30 years ago uh, it, it just wasn't happening the judgment was coming after the children of israel his chosen people finished out their punishment now the punishment was over the end of 2019 nothing has been the same since 2020 now you're beginning to see things collapse like never before now you're seeing multitude of wars going on at one time you're seeing businesses i was reading today about macy's in ohio they're gonna they're, uh, they're talking about i think they're closing all their stores in ohio and i thought about that and i said wow we've never seen this type of thing before where where we have so much chaos going on but it's been in our scriptures the entire time the entire time the, the israelites have um uh, served out their punishment 
They served out their punishment. Now, let me tell you something. If we continue to stay disobedient, the curses will stay on us forever. But I tell you what, this is the time now to repent. This is the time right now for Gentiles who want to be grafted in. Gentile, they told us that we were the Gentiles all these years. And, uh, and uh, that's not true. We are God's chosen people. We are the true Israelites of the scripture. And I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not ashamed to say it. I don't care who likes it. I don't care who don't want to receive it. You can call me a cult. You can call me a false teacher. You can say what you want to say. Because I keep, if I put everything aside, everything aside, the scripture says that first comes natural, then comes spiritual. So I ask a natural, simple, little, simple question to ask me why are we always at the bottom? Why are we always at the bottom of the barrel people? Why is 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 that just from him that we've prayed, we've fasted, we've I'm talking about as a people, we are the most forgiving, we're the most loving, we're the most uh compassionate, we are the most uh giving people in the history of the world we have gone through so much stuff and they want us to forget just forget about that stuff that happened in the past just forget about it don't worry about the past if you get stuck in the past you you uh you you, you keep dwelling on the past you get stuck in it's nothing wrong with that guess what we came into this country uh, uh some people came into this country because i believe that israelites was already here but if we would uh would would uh, look at those that came out of the uh and, and did come on the ships uh into from jamestown virginia the first slave that was in jamestown virginia how come we can remember we we don't they don't want us to remember 1619 but we can remember 1620 when the first pilgrim so so called you know, um, you know, first Thanksgiving or, you know, forget, for, uh, forget about all that stuff, you know, you know, that we went through our struggle is nothing. Our struggle is not necessary, but you know what, as we move on, you've heard me say this a million times, you know, I was looking at the, uh, Shannon Sharp before we get into our song 51. Um, we was looking at, um, I was watching the Shannon Sharp, um, um, interview with Monique tonight. Yeah, I watched all three hours of it. And and um and I tell you what, it's amazing that all this stuff that we're seeing that our people, that our people is it's nothing that we can blame the other nations of people for our behavior and the way we act toward one another is and we've learned and I'm gonna do a video on this uh and talk about how the northern and the southern kingdom was split for that very reason. They could not, they could not, matter of fact, let me just, can I tap on that real fast? Let me tap on that real fast. Let me, let me, let me pull some information up really, really quickly. And then I just want to just touch on this Psalm 51. We want to continue to talk about that. Uh, let's see if we can jump into this and, uh, and talk about this, um, um, this, um, the Northern and the Southern kingdom. And I'm going to put into a basic Google search. Why was the Northern and Southern kingdom split or divided? Let's let's look at this right here. Let's see. Uh, let's make sure that everything is good on our part, because I one time I was putting up stuff and and I and I said, "Wow, I I, I, I didn't I talk did all that talking that had no share screen no screen share on it." Okay, we're good. Okay, please uh, you on YouTube, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel at Wake Up Judah Two One Nine, Wake Up Judah Two One Nine, or Real Talk Television. Thank you. The nor the kingdom was split into north into the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah. The reason? They turned away from God and broke the covenant, therefore, thereby coming out from under God's care and protection. That's where we're at today. God established a covenant with his people to live together in the unity and love. We're, as a people, we are not unified. We are not living in unity and in love. We're not living in unity and in love. That's just 
the way it is. That's the truth. You might not want to receive it, but that's the truth. Our people are not together. And uh, I think on uh, more questions they asked where they people also asked, why did the two kingdoms split? Why were they divided? Um, um, what is the divided kingdom's timeline? Approximately 922. And of course, we got to take this with a grain of salt because, you know, uh, some of these timelines and, and years and dates are definitely um, suspect from approximately 922 to 722. Uh, 21 BC because we really should be around not this BC and uh and uh and all this kind of stuff BCE and all this we should be around 5994 years that's what I, that's where we uh that's where we're at and uh and um uh, and one day is like a thousand years to to the, to Yahuwah so that mean one day a thousand years and he, he uh and he went and uh created the earth in 7 days in the earth in seven uh in and uh in six days rather and rested on the seventh day so that means if you go one day like a thousand years that means we're approaching that six thousand years and so we're just about at that time and i believe we have a timeline of um some e extraordinary things that happen okay from approximately those times the divided kingdom of israel began at solomon's death while the while while um while two southern tribe Judah and Benjamin remain loyal to the memory of King David, the northern ten tribes collectively called Israel revolted from following Solomon's son Rehoboam. Uh, um, uh, so the thing is, when you go into the study yourself and look at this information. Um, um, I'm very careful who I click on and get information from. So uh, you got to see when you understand that Israel and Judah, they were divided. There's so much stuff when you read the Apocrypha, you'll see in more detail why we were divided. And when I was reading and looking at the uh, the club Shay Shay, uh, I couldn't, I just, I, I was just, I was just really amazed how, um, how we um, just, still yet proving who we are. A lot of people won't receive who we are because you're not the children of Israel. You're not the children of Israel. Y'all, y'all, y'all false teachers and y'all cult and all this kind of stuff. But we prove it's proven that we're God's chosen people. Why? Because we act just like what happened with the um with the uh, uh northern and southern kingdom. Now look. Let's go to Psalm 51. Psalm 51, if we can look at this real fast. I'm going, I'm going to just briefly hit this because I want to come back. This is probably going to be a terrible, uh, long series. Now, now, David continued to say, have mercy upon me, O God, according to um, thy loving kindness, according to uh, the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight that thou mayest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me, this is what the Most High had given me right here. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Uphold me with thy free spirit. Then I will teach transgressions thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. We're going to stop right there. Now, David, when he started out, he's saying, uh, uh, answer me when I call. In, in Psalm uh, 4, let's go to Psalm 4 in verse number 1. Psalm 4. Psalms 4. 
let's get this really fast. Psalm four and one. David says, "Hear me, oh, hear me when I call, O oh God. See, uh, oh, oh Yah, uh, um, the, uh, my um, my Elohim of my righteousness. Thou has enlarged me when I was in distress." The Most High wants you to remember the times that you were in distress, Israel, when you were in in distress. He said, when you and yeah, have mercy upon me and hear my prayer, but you got to first before your prayers be called and uh, you might be going through something individually. You might be going through a trial, a tribulation or something individually, but you got to make sure, Israel, that you call on the, the correct name. We've been calling on the God of the New Testament that they've created. That's pretty new if you didn't know. And but he want us to call on him the god of the old testament because if we, they would if the if the if the gentiles would have never made the new testament if they would have never made they were thinking that there that that because he was going to make a new covenant with israel that a new covenant with israel not with the gentiles because he never made a covenant with the gentiles in the first place so when 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 um uh, they think this because when they read in tanakh that he was going to make a new covenant with israel that we need to go ahead and make a new covenant uh, a new testament or new scriptures and put new stuff together so we can be able to call on another deity see how we got bamboozled yes it's going to be a new covenant with israel not gentiles with israel and then they went on, made a New Testament. And so now we're calling on JC rather than calling on Yahuwah. And that's what I want to you know, want to keep pushing today is that we cry. We read Psalm 4 and 1 when it says, hear me, O God, hear me, O Yahuwah. And uh, we read Psalm 3 and 4. It's I cry aloud to Yahuwah. I cry aloud to Yahuwah. Um, 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 Psalm 4 and 3, he said, but know that the Lord has set me apart him that is godly for himself and will hear when I call him, call him, when you call him, when you use your mouth, when you're calling him, you're calling on his name, not some other deity that was given to us while we were enslaved. You get that? Um, Psalm 135 and 4, for Yahuwah has chosen Jacob for himself. For Yahuwah has chosen Jacob for himself. He didn't call another nation. He called Jacob. In verse four, for the Lord chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. Now you see where they get the peculiar priesthood, but a peculiar people in a royal priesthood in the New Testament. So we look at um, uh, and then we, we talk about the chosen. Let's all oh, you talk about chosen. Huh? Let's go to um, 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 Deuteronomy seven and six. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I know we are kind of going back over what we talked about before in the other video that we've done, but Deuteronomy 7 and 6, for thou, Israel, are holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. I know you don't want to receive that. I know you don't want to receive it. I said, I know you don't want to receive that. You can't fathom that the most high has chosen a certain people to be above all people that's on the face of the earth. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse number 15, Deuteronomy chapter number 10. And verse number 15, let's look at that really fast. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse number 15. Uh, we got to continue to call on his name. Only the Lord had delight. Only the Lord had a delight in the in thy fathers to love them. And he chose, there it is, he chose their seed after them, even of you above all people, as it is this day. To this day, even to this day, he's chosen a people. Psalm 41, Psalm 41. Let's go to Psalm 41, Psalm 41. Psalm 41. Let's look at that real fast. Verse number eight. Look what it says. It says, uh, an evil disease. Say, did I get that right? Psalm 41 and verse number eight. Psalm 41. We got it. Psalm 41, verse eight. Um, I think that's what I want. Psalm 41. Verse number eight. Um, I don't think that's one I want. That's not the one I want. Let's see if we want verse. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think that's the one I want. 
that's not the one I want. But we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Um, um, yes, I yes, I, I I said it wrong. It is Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah chapter number eight. Isaiah chapter number 41, verse number eight. Let's go to Isaiah. It says, but thou, O is, but thou Israel art my servant, Jacob, whom I've chosen, the seed of Abraham, my father, uh, my friend. Israel is the most highest friend. That's what he said. My son, uh, my servant, I've chosen you and you're my friend. And I love you He to this day. And I want all the Israelites to know today that he love you. Let's move on. I want to I want I want to talk just a little bit um, and, and, and moving on from what we've been talking about in Psalm. Uh, we're going to deal with that whole chapter, but we're now just dealing with now with. Let's look at Psalm four and one Psalm four and one. Let's go back to that Psalm four and one. Let's go back to that Psalm four and one. Psalm four and one. I want to move on just a little bit because I kind of went over the video that I did before. Hear me when I call. That's what I want to focus on. When you call, uh, where we've been talking about how uh, Israel has been calling on other gods. Well, we've been given the New Testament and we've been given um, a, another deity and we've been calling on another deity. How many people? Oh, uh, no, no, JC didn't bless me. He didn't did this. He didn't did that. But how many people have died? with y'all praying over that person, they still died. Tell me how that worked. Tell me how that worked. And then we went to that Psalm three and four. We're not going to get this guy. I got a whole page of notes. Psalm um, um, three and four, we read that already, but we'll read it again. Psalm three and four. Psalms three and four. And when we go to Psalm three and four, he said, I cried unto the Lord. So first time he said, he said, uh, and uh, hear me when I call, hear me when I call, when I'm in distress, when I have, when I need mercy, oh, 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 yeah. And then he says in three and four, I cried, I cried when I'm in distress, hear me when I call, when you call, what name are you calling? You need to know the the, the um the Tanakh name. You need to know the God of Israel of I of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And his name is Yahuwah. When I call, when I'm in distress, when I'm in trouble, I need to call on Yahuwah. And I'm trying to help you if you follow me, that we need to quit calling on the Greek God. We need to call, quit calling on the one that was really his name was Serapis. Now we're calling on the JC and we know that we don't suppose to be doing it. Maybe you might not know it, but I'm trying to get you to understand it. Psalm um, on 17. Let's look at Psalm 17. Psalm 17. Let's look at this really fast. Psalm 17. Psalm 17 and verse number six. It says, show thy marvelous kind, loving kindness. Oh, that thou, oh, oh, that thy, excuse me, oh, that savest by thy right hand, them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. And when you read that, when the reason why I was reading that is because there are so many times that the children of Israel had all kinds of trouble. And they were and uh, and and the most high saved them by his right hand. And he want us to put our trust in him when we do go through the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I'm trying to get you to now learn how to, to, to trust it. If you can't say it. We can we can bring it up. Yahuwah. Let, let's, let's see if we can bring that up real fast. How to pronounce Yahuwah. Let me see if we can do it. Let me see if it'll work because I've been having issues with that. How to pronounce? You know, they they call it Yahweh, but we're gonna call it Yahua. Uh, they're gonna call it Yah Yahweh, so we're gonna just skip that. So when we look at well, um, our, our scriptures tonight, he said, "Call on, call on His name." And then when we look at you know, when, when we're in distress, when we're in trouble, 
And then when we look at the Psalm 17, we need to put our trust in him. When we call him, we need to put our trust in Yahuwah. Please try that. Say Yahuwah. Some people say um, 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 Yahuwah. But his name, and I, I believe it's most politically correct, is Yahuwah. That's his name, Yahuwah. And let's go to uh, Psalm 18. Psalm 18. Let's skip over to Psalm 18. I'm going to throw some scriptures at you and put all this together. Psalm 18 and verse number six. In my distress, remember we talked about that earlier. In my distress, I called on the upon our, uh, our higher power. I call on, I don't say Lord, but for teaching, I'll say it. I called on. I, I can't, I just don't want to say it. In my distress, I called upon our uh, creator and cried unto Yah. That's what we got to do when we call. We got to cry. We cry out to, to Yah. He heard my voice out of his temple and, and, and my cry came before him, even in his ears. Don't you know it is important that, th do you ever wonder that, Sometimes we might not get things or we might not get a prayer answered because we call it on another deity. That could, that's something that you can probably think of and say, wow, maybe I am calling on another deity. And uh, and uh, and so and, and uh, so I stay right here in this in this Tanakh. OK, let's move on. Uh, verse number 18, verse number 18, it says they prevented me in the day of my calamity. But our power was was my stay. But my power was my stay. He brought me forth also in a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Um, um, uh, our power rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands, has he recompensed me. For I kept the ways of the Lord or our power and have not wickedly departed from our creator and so let's go to um um psalm 25 psalm 25 we'll just read these scriptures and then we'll just go ahead and sum it all up at one when we get done psalm 25 and 16 psalm 25 and 16 look what it says turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me remember he called calling on yahuwah in my distress in my trouble and when and when i uh, and i gotta trust in them when i call but he said, when it turn unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted in the time of your inflictions, uh, Israel. He's been faithful. We have not been faithful. In, our, in, in the time of our desolation, he's been there for me. The troubles of, thy, of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. You hear him? Let's go to Psalm 39 and 12, 39 and 12, 39 and 12, 39 and 12. This is encouraging to me because just by reading these, just by reading these in the, when I haven't even touched the New Testament, it's a hear my prayer. He's talking about when he's calling on him. He's saying, hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee and a sojourner as my fathers were. Spare me that I might recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Let's move on to, um, uh, let's, matter of fact, let's go back to Psalm 3 and verse number 4. He said, I cried unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Cried unto Yah with my voice. I'm using my voice. Yahuwah, I call on you. Yahuwah, I need you. Yahuwah, your people need you. Yahuwah, we thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We glorify you tonight. We thank you for your word on tonight. Father, we call on your name. We call on your name. We call on your name. We call on Yahuwah, God. We don't, we don't call on the New Testament, God. I'm not doing it. I'm not calling on the New Testament, God. I call on you. I've called on the New Testament, God. I thank you for having mercy all these years when we are in our distress, when we are in our trouble. Hallelujah. We trust in you. 
Hallelujah. We trust in you, Father. We call on Yahuwah. We call on him. Somebody need to call on Yahuwah right now. That's his name in the Old Testament. You might not want to receive it, but that is his name. They came and put a uh, and, uh, and put a, uh, a New Testament deity together. Now Israel is calling on another deity. And that what got us in trouble in the first place. That's why we are in this trouble we are in now, because we couldn't stop calling on other deities. So now we know better. We do better. And we don't call on no other deity. We call on Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Thank you, Father. Um, Psalm 18. Let's go back. Hallelujah. Psalm 18. In my distress, I call upon the Lord and uh, and then cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him, even in his ears. Hallelujah. Let's go to this precept in Psalm 50. Let's go to Psalm 50 and verse number 15. Psalm 50 and verse number 15. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Psalm 50 and verse number 15. Then he said, and call upon me in the day of trouble. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. That we've gotten away from glorifying Yahuwah. We've gotten away from glorifying the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But no, we want to call on um, uh, uh, the deity that gave, they gave us while we were enslaved. I keep saying it over and over. Hallelujah. I feel the spirit on me right now because we not, I'm telling you, we need to be calling on Yahuwah. We need to be calling on the God of the Old Testament, the God of, the Abraham, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will call uh, uh, and, and call upon me in the day of trouble. Let me see if we can go up a little bit. Offer unto Yah thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high. Hallelujah. He's our highest. He's our creator. He's our everything. And we ought to give thanksgiving to him. Hallelujah. Let's move to Zechariah 13, verse number nine. Zechariah chapter 13, verse number nine. Zechariah chapter 13, verse number nine. I feel the spirit of the most high upon me right now. And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and try them as gold is tried. Israel, we're talking to you. They who is who they who is the they, not the heathens, not the Gentiles, but the children of Israel. They shall call upon. They shall call on my name. Hallelujah. What's his name? His name is Yahuwah. Hallelujah. At this time, there was no JC. Hallelujah. They call on his name. Y'all, 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 y'all in trouble talking about he, JC is God. He's not no God. He's a Messiah. Uh, not, not JC, but Yahusha Hamashiach. He was, he's a Messiah. He's a son of God. He's a chosen one. He's a, a savior, somebody, a savior. I'm talking about at a time of, uh, um, for that particular time, not a savior that, uh, as Yahuwah is. Because Yahuwah said there is no other savior, no other person that can save you. I will, I will hear them and I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the, uh, um, the Lord is my God. They shall call upon uh, uh, his name. That's what he wants you to do is call upon his name. The third that's going to come through the fire. The third that's going to come through uh, as silver is refined. They're going to call on his name. And I want to go back a little bit because uh, JC is just a created name. A created name. Hallelujah. I'll make sure I clear that up. Thank you, Father. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be um, 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 confusing when I say Savior. I'm talking about there were plenty of Messiahs when I'm saying. There were plenty of Messiahs. There's only one Savior, and that's Yahuwah. There's no other Savior beside me. That's what he said. So I want to make sure I clear that up. I misspoke saying that. Hallelujah. So let's go to, let's move on to um, Isaiah 48 and verse number 10. Isaiah 48 and verse number 10. Isaiah Hallelujah. I said I put in 10 but it's very uh, chapter 48. 
And let's read verse 10. That's what we want. Isaiah, hallelujah. Verse 10, behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I have chosen thee, Israel. Hallelujah. Glory be to, 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 uh, to Yah. Okay, let's read verse number 11. For mine own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted? And I would not give my glory unto another. Oh, hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my called. I am he. I am the first. And I am the last. How come we get this? We get this in the Greek to talk about the the, um, um, the, begin, the the first and the last. Giving it to JC. He said, I won't give my glory to another. But I give my, but I am the first. I am he. I am Yahuwah. I am he. I am first. And I am the last. Hallelujah. Somebody need to write that down. We need to practice on calling on the true name of a creator. Thank you, Father. Practice it. Every time you mess up, I was messing up too. I will call on another now. I will call on that same JC, the name I've been calling for years and years and years. But when I found out that I've been calling on the, the wrong name, I've been, I should be calling on the God of the Old Testament. And the God of the Old Testament is not the same as the, of, of your God in the New Testament. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 58. What time much time do we got? Isaiah 58. Let's go to this real quick. I feel the spirit. Hallelujah. Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah uh, 58. Thank you, Father. I hope this is enlightening to some people. I hope it's uh, a blessing to, uh, to, the, uh, to the men and, and the women of Yah. Isaiah 58, verse number six through nine. Let's read that really fast. It says, it is, uh, is not this the fast that I've chosen to loose the bands of the wicked, the, uh, of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and let the oppressed go free, that, the, uh, that ye break every yoke? It is not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bringest uh, the poor that are cast out of the, thy house, and when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not, not thyself from thine own flesh, then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and, 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 and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee, and the glory of the Lord sh uh, shall, be re uh, uh, shall be thy reward. Let's read verse nine. Then shalt thou call. Here he is again, calling on the name of Yahuwah. Then shalt thou call and the Lord shall answer. Have you ever wondered if you've been calling on the, the, the wrong name all these years? You say, but I know, I know that he's been doing great things for me. I've been calling his name. He healed my body. I should have been dead. I should have been this and that. But grace and mercy was following you all the days of your life. If he did not, let me tell you something. Let me throw this in here. He had no mercy on the children of Israel. He was tough on the children of Israel by calling on other gods. The Israelites were gone and they went into captivity in, in the Persian Medes. They went into captivity in, in, uh, in Babylon. They went in captivity in this with the Assyrians. They went into captivity with the Greeks and the Romans in, in Egypt, all because of idol worship and all because of disobedience and all because they're calling on different deities and gods. If he had no mercy upon them, why do you think that in this today's society that we can go by what the Gentiles told us? It doesn't matter who we call on. It doesn't matter if there's many ways to the creator. But he, if he had no mercy on our ancestors, he's not going to have mercy on us. I don't care what New Testament uh, uh, preacher. I don't care what Gentile or what Gentile told you. 
Stop calling on other gods. Israel has a history of doing it. And we are Israelites today. And we're calling on other deities. They don't call me hypocritical because some of this stuff I'm reading in the Greek, I'm mean, in the in the English right here in this King James Version got me saying, really, if you want to be politically correct, I'm calling on even reading out, but I'm doing it only because we got people that need that that's not there yet. And I'm and it, it, every time I read it, it, it makes me cringe a little bit because right in verse nine, then thou then shalt thou call and the Lord. Don't you know the main? Let, let me show you real fast. Let me show you real fast. The word Lord. Baal is given. If Baal is the name given to the ancient Canaanite Phoenician deity that was previously, previously called Hadad. Who was the god of fertility, of childbirth, as well as rain and storms. However, the word Baal means Lord. And was applied to several other deities as well as human rulers. Are you seeing this? So, so at times I don't want to be hypocritical because we know that Baal means Lord. So when we start saying, when we reading, even reading the scriptures, we got to get the we got well, the best way to do it is to get yourself uh, um, um, a Hebrew Bible. So you or and, and I'm learning even today that I got a paleo Hebrew um, uh, app that I'm learning how to speak Hebrew so I can be able to get myself the scripture so I don't have to call out on other names and so forth. Let's go to another one real fast. When we look at the L. When we look at the word El, the deity is a Canaanite god. I hate to read Wikipedia, but I'm not gonna read it. Let's let's read let's 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 pull up so we can pull up something real fast. El is a deity of the Canaanites. If you can see it right here, let's look at look at the Britannica. Um uh El, the general term for deity in Semitic language, name of the chief deity of the West Indies. Uh he was the Canaanite. God. So we talk about Elohim. We talk about El Shaddai. We talk about a lot of Els, but when the Israelites went into captivity in Canaan, guess what? Or um, um, into um, uh, into these uh, into these captive into um, Babylon, what they began to do, they began to call on those deities, those deities are we we still doing the same thing so i had to throw that in there so i don't want to sound hypocritical when i sound when i say lord when i say El elohim or something like that please i got to do it for the sake of teaching i hope that's understandable so let's read verse 9 again then shalt thou call we talked about this we started out in psalm he says when we call on uh on his name we got to call his name. So uh, Zechariah chapter uh, 13, verse nine, he said, the third is going to go through the fire. And then when they go through the fire and, they, and, and that silver is refined, guess what? We, 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 he, we're going to call on his name. That's all he wants us to do, Israelites. That's what he wants the northern and southern kingdom to do is put our idols down, put our Mason, Ma Masonic stuff down, put our fraternities and sororities down, put, get out of our secret societies and begin to call on the name of Yahuwah. Somebody ought to say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah, can we read it real fast? Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65. Let's read this really fast. Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65. And let's restart reading around. I want to read verse 24, but I think I want to read up a little bit. Let's read verse 24. We'll go up. It said, it shall come to pass that before thy call. I will answer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I keep, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, I, I feel the spirit on tonight. I will call. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Let's go up just a little bit and read 17. Hallelujah. For behold, I create 
new heavens and a new earth and the former shall be not remembered nor come into mind but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem, a rejoicing and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Hallelujah. We are in that time now. We're getting ready to see the Israelites be taken up. Hallelujah. But you got to repent. Because he's going to destroy, he's going to uh, cut off two thirds of Israel. And I want you to repent. Hallelujah. For calling on other deities. I want you to repent. You already know the natural things you need to do. When we read the, the law, statutes, the commandments, when we keep his commandments, we're going we, we, we gonna, to we gonna read. We're going to read the commandments now. That's right. I'm, we, we're going to do that. We're going to read the commandments. Google if you have to. If you have to go, to, I, I do it myself. Go on YouTube and put in 613 commandments. Find an Israelite that's actually reading them and then and, 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 uh, and listen to them. Put them in your ears, driving your car, while you're washing your dishes, while you're cutting your grass, while you're, whatever you're doing. Put those commandments in your ears. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We're going to keep we're going to keep the commandments. We're going to call on his name. And when we do this, the, the, the northern and southern kingdom, the most high is going to come and get us because they know that we're unified. Hallelujah. And I will rejoice in your Jerusalem and rejoice in my people and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more vents of infant of, of days, nor an old man that have not filled his days. Hallelujah. Old man. Do you hear that? Old man. Some people say, well, he was old. But an old man has not fulfilled his days. That means I believe that we're going to go back to long life like we saw in the Tanakh in the, and like we saw in the Torah when the people were lived a long time. 120 years, 400 years. I believe we're going to go back to it. That's why we got to be careful what we put into our bodies. That's why we got to put be careful what we put into our bodies. Hallelujah. And y'all want me to go back to Christianity? No, man, I want to stay right here. Hallelujah. See, I am God. I haven't read a New Testament scripture yet. And there shall be no more thence of, of infant, an infant of day, uh, infant of days, and nor an old man that have not fulfilled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old. Hallelujah. But the sinners, being a hundred years old, shall be cursed, accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are of are the days of my people and mine elect, hallelujah, shall long, hallelujah, enjoy the work of their hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to stop eating. We got to, we got to be careful. I've lost about 21 pounds because I don't put all that toxic stuff in my body anymore. I'm eating more fruit. I'm putting more vegetables. Uh, I'm, I'm putting more juices and more things from the earth. I'm putting in, uh, um, I'm using herbs and so forth because I am now cleansing my body. Hallelujah. For they shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the of um, um of the of the power of God. Uh, hallelujah! And their offspring with them, and it shall come to pass that before they call, there we talk about again. I will answer. And while they were yet speaking, I will hear. Now, how much time we got left? Hallelujah! We got a few more minutes. We got to get out of here. Hallelujah! Can we give you a few more scriptures? Hallelujah! I'm trying to tell y'all is, is that that time is here. That's this is this, I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back to what 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 the, what the heathen then taught me. And then in the heathen, the, then we've gone to their schools and and then we've been indoctrinated with lies. And the scripture tells us. Let me read that real fast in Jeremiah chapter number sixteen and verse number nineteen. Look what it says. Jeremiah sixteen and nineteen. The Gentiles. 
Hallelujah. For oh Lord, oh Lord, please forgive. Oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the end of the earth and shall say, surely my goodness, surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity and things therein wherein there is no profit all this time they told us they told us that this would that 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 the israelites were were the people over there in that land they told us this they told us you mean what they're not the people you mean what history has been a lie what they're going to come from the ends of the earth and shall say surely our fathers have inherited lies our fathers have inherited lies. I had to give you that. Let's real quick. Let's real quick. Let's go. Let's go to Jeremiah 29. Hallelujah. We are in Jeremiah. Let's go ahead and go to 29 real fast. Jeremiah 29 and verse number 11. Let's read this real fast. Said, For I know the thoughts. Hallelujah. That I, I, that I think towards you. See, we took this and we took it another way in Christianity. But to, I know that matter of fact, we need to read that. Let, let, let's, let's go back up just a little bit. For thus said, that's verse number 10. For thus said uh, Yahuwah, that after 70 years, after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you. Isn't he getting ready to visit us now? Isn't he getting ready to visit us now? Hallelujah. There's a time that's the time is here. Hallelujah. Time is getting ready that he's visiting, getting he's getting he's on that precipice of visiting us and perform my good my, my good word toward you and causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think of you, says Yahuwah, thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end, they shall call upon me. Remember, we've been talking about uh, calling on him, calling on um, 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 our, our creator. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. I'm I, I challenge everybody that's listening to me right now and listening me to, to me tonight. Try and train yourself to call on Yahuwah, and let's see how, if a change comes. I know one is going to come. Call them. I dare you. I dare you. From now on, when somebody gets sick, and not, don't call on no, no, these new, this new testament, this new stuff. Call on Yahuwah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and call it on. Lay your hands on the sick, and they shall recover in the name of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. They shall call upon me, and and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me, and you shall find me, and will you search for me with all your heart? Hallelujah! And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. I know somebody feeling good right now just by me reading the word, and I will turn away your captivity. Hallelujah. And I will gather you from all the nations. We've been scattered to the four corners of the earth. That's what he's waiting on. He's waiting on us to call on him. He's waiting us to repent. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I will be found of you, said Yahuwah, and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations, from all the places where I have driven you. Uh, he, he's the one that, 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 that scattered us. And I will bring you again into the place where I cause you to be carried away captive. Because you have said the Lord have raised us up prophets in Babylon. I, I, I got to stop. I got to stop. I got to stop. We, we, we're getting, I can't, I can't go over an hour. I got five minutes to put, to put this down. I got five minutes, to four minutes really to put this down. Four minutes, four minutes to put this down. Can I just read a couple more, a couple more. Zechariah chapter 10. Let me see if I can get this in real quick. Zechariah chapter number 10. Zechariah chapter number 10. I, I, I might have to go over. I might have to go over and just split it up. I don't know. We'll see. Isaiah, on uh, uh, Zechariah chapter 10 and verse number 6. Now I'm trying to read it fast. And I will strengthen the house of, Je uh, of Yahuda. I will strengthen Judah. Hallelujah. We're the praisers over here in America. Put some respect on it. I told somebody that on YouTube the other day. And they told y'all ain't no, y'all ain't no Jew, true Jews. Y'all ain't no Jew. No, you don't know Jew is a, Jew is a, is a, is a, is a Greek word. That's a made up Greek word. It's not even a real word, but a, a Jew is not a word. It's because they get that from Judah. We are the house of Judah. Can't nobody praise like us. Can't nobody sing like us. Can't nobody do what we do. Hallelujah. 
and I will strengthen the house of Yahuda, and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to uh, and to uh, 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 to um, I, I'm, I'm talking fast, and I will bring them again to place them. For I have uh, uh, for I have mercy upon them, and they shall be. That's why I was talking about uh, Monique and and uh, and and, uh, and Shay Shay uh, Club Shay Shay when they did the interview today. And it, I'm I'm listening and I'm listening. All this talk about how we cannot come together, how we're fighting each other. That's the northern and southern kingdom. And when we began to call on His name, when we began to repent, when we began to do the right things of God, I'm trying to tell you the northern and southern kingdom. We're going to be together. One in his hand, I got to give you that. And I will strengthen the house of Judah. Hallelujah. The southern kingdom. And I will save the house of Joseph, which is the northern kingdom. And I will bring them again to place them, for I have mercy upon them. And they shall be as though I had not cast them off, for I am the Lord their creator. And will hear them, and they of Ephraim. Hallelujah. I should have said Judah and Ephraim. And they uh, of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their hearts shall rejoice as wine, and their children shall see it and be glad, and their hearts shall rejoice in the Lord. I will hiss them. Hallelujah. We got to stop. We got to stop. We got to stop. Can I, let me see how much time we got left. How much time we got left? We got, we got about three minutes. Let me give you this real fast. Let me give you this real fast. We, how many times we didn't read Ezekiel, uh, um, Ezekiel 37 um, when it says um, the Valley of dry bones. How many times we didn't read the valley of dry bones? We we read that we 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 go and we read the valley of dry bones and we stop at the story about the sick news and how the uh, the bones are going to come together and we stop. But you keep on reading, you keep on reading, you go down. The scripture says this: And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, "Wilt thou not show us what this means?" We're talking about all this stuff. Let's go back up just a little bit. Moreover, the son of man take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the house of Israel, his companions. Take another stick. And write upon it for Joseph, for the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one into one stick, one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's what he wants us to do today. He wants us to join together. He wants us to unify. When the children of Israel learn who they are, when the children of Israel know that they are truly the chosen, the chosen people, he's going to bring the two sticks into one. Hallelujah. Going to be one in his hand. All oh, praises to the most high. I'm trying to tell you people. I'm trying to tell you. I, I got to stop. I got to stop. I'm going to come back. I got more to talk about. I got more to talk about. And I got to get out of here because we're going to go over this time. We got about a minute. Minute and a half, and I, I like to, I like to, I like to, to uh, replay these. And if you go over a minute, uh, uh, one hour, you can't replay it. So I gotta get out of here. Let me tell you this. Please go to my page once again, and uh, at YouTube, and, and uh, click on this on on YouTube. It's the first time you ever come by. Please, please stop in and click on it, and then I'm and share it with somebody. I see the the uh, the views are going up. I'm seeing that the uh, the subscribers are going up. They're going up little by little, and I'm excited about it. Thank you so much. I don't know if anybody had any questions. I don't see any questions. I thank you very much for tuning in. If you're on Facebook, if you're not my friend, hit follow and share this stuff. Talk about it. Look, do me a favor. Practice and call it on Yahuwah. If somebody's sick in your body, if somebody is going through in your family, whatever it is, I dare you to call on Yahuwah. Stay out. Stop telling. Stay, stay from calling on other deities. Call on Yahuwah. That's his Old Testament or his Tanakh name. All right. I got to get out of here. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm excited, y'all. <laughs> All right. Shalom. 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 <laughs>